Hello, this is Chris of Magoosh, and for today's math tip, we're gonna look at the difference between greatest common factor and least common multiple. So, let's take a look. Let's take a look at two numbers, 36 and 90. Now, first off, we're gonna find the greatest common divisor, and, or sometimes known as the greatest common factor. And what that means is the number, the largest number that you can divide each number, 36 and 90 by, so that you end up with an integer, not some funky fraction or decimal. So how do we do that? Well, to find the greatest common divisor or factor, we factor each number, as the name would imply. So let's start with 36. And once we factor both numbers, I'm gonna show you how to come up with that greatest common divisor. So 36, that can be broken into two times two times three times three. Now, if you're wondering, how did you do that so quickly? When I try to factor numbers like this, if they're even numbers, I usually divide by two. In this case, that would give me 18. Then if I divide by two again, that would give me nine, and then nine is three times three. So those are the four numbers or four factors, prime factors that make up 36. Now I go ahead and I look for the prime factors that make up 90. And I do the same thing. 90 divided by two, that gives me the 45. And I know that 45 is nine times five or three times three times five. So now that I have all those numbers written out, 36 is two times two times three times three, and 90 is two times three times three times five. Notice that word greatest common divisor. I'm gonna look for numbers that they have in common. In this case, I notice they both have a two, so I'm gonna circle that. I notice that they both have threes. I'm gonna circle those numbers. So I'm gonna circle two and two, and three and three. Now, what do I do at this point? Well, notice that there are two sets of threes. So I'm gonna circle three a second time. To find the greatest common factor or divisor, all you have to do is multiply those common numbers. Now, I have written down here two times three times three because they have two in common and then they have three in common twice. And two times three times three is 18. And that gives me the greatest common divisor or factor. Now, what is least common multiple? Well, the difference here is it is the number that is a multiple, meaning it has to be the same or bigger than the numbers. That is the least of the multiples. For instance, a multiple of 36 is 36 or 72 or 36 times three, which is 108. Those are all multiples. What we're looking for is at what point do those 36 and 90 share a multiple? Now you could keep counting up. I'm gonna keep going 36 times four times five and then figure out 90, but that's really time consuming. So I'm gonna show you a faster way, which is least common multiple. How do we do that? Well, in this case, we can keep the exact same numbers and all we do is we take the greatest common divisor and that we found was to be 18. And then we take the numbers that from the ones that are left over that they do not share. For instance, look at 90, there's that five coming, kind of hanging out there. There's no five with 36s, right? So we're gonna take that five, we want that five. And then there's that extra two hanging out next to 36 that isn't in 90, so we wanna grab that two. And we multiply that two and that five together to get 10 and multiply it times the greatest common divisor factor, which was 18, and that gives us the least common multiple. So 18 times 10, or the least common multiple is 180. And there we have it. So hopefully you enjoyed the video on how to figure out what the greatest common factor is and then to use that to find the least common multiple. Now if you want other helpful tips like that, other math basics, check out our six month GRE study plan for math beginners, which is in the description below. Or if you want to check out more videos like this one, click on the ones to your left. And I will see you next time.